many people, super talented, accomplished, doing lots of great things in their community. What's it like to be included in that group when you were working with them? It was extraordinary to sit through the ceremony and to hear the stories of these wonderful Canadians who have had such an impact on the world stage. It's humbling, it's inspiring, and we couldn't be more honored to be here. Yeah, that was totally going to be what I said. Uh, <laughs> it was extremely humbling just to hear all of the stories that these, all these people's life work um, and to see how they've affected our country. We've always been so proud to represent Canada on the international stage and to be honored by Canada today is uh, another huge accomplishment for us. Now you guys have had lots of awards over your career, you've had lots of medals. How does the Order of Canada stack up to some of the other honorary awards and medals you guys have received? I thought our days of receiving medals were behind <laughs> us, <laughs> but this is a particularly special one. And it's one that you don't know to strive for. When we spent all of those hours training and working tirelessly towards one inevitable goal, this was not on our radar, and how special to be recognized in this way. I'm not sure it's, it's hit us yet, mm -hmm. but it's certainly a nice one to add to the collection, and it, it means a lot. Yeah, we've always been such proud Canadians, uh, so to be able to represent Canada was always such an honor to us, and this isn't something that we, we train for, we are in the rank for, and never even expected in our wildest dreams. So. Um, it's, it's just such a huge honor. I don't, I'm not even sure I can put it into words. And I guess it must be nice as well to be here with your family for receiving this award. I saw that your mom was crying in the back. <laughs> it must be nice to finally be able to have you know, all of your family together in a spot to have an award like this being presented. Yeah, we always felt like as athletes that uh, we were the ones out there on the stage, that we were the ones that got to stand on the podium and, and receive the medal, but uh, we weren't alone. We had huge support networks, families, and um, that's what makes a day like this so special, is to be able to celebrate all of the sacrifices that we've made and, and hopes that um, we've done our part to make Canadians proud. And that was really always the goal for T and I, and to make each other proud and, and to make Canada proud. So to get this recognition today is, is huge for us. And I think just my last question, for, for kids or athletes who might be watching this, what is your message to them? Sport has obviously given both of you such an incredible platform that you've really used to help your communities. What's your message to kids or, or athletes who might be I always put Olympic champions on this pedestal. I thought they were superhuman. And when we stood on the podium and received our Olympic medals, I remember feeling so ordinary. And what I've been thinking about a lot lately is I just wish that young kids everywhere could have that feeling of you know, knowing they can chase their dreams, knowing that they're attainable if they work hard, and kind of humanizing the experience of pursuing big dreams. Anyone can do it. And how lucky are we that we have a platform from which we can hopefully share our stories and inspire others to do the same. Yeah, totally. I think it's just about being brave enough to have those dreams and surround yourself with people who believe in those dreams and make you better. I did that with Tess, and she wouldn't <laughs> let up until we got where we wanted to be. Awesome. Thank you so much for this, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.